G'day, my name's Mel. Welcome to my world. And at the moment, I'm turning this full transit into a stealthy, off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, camper van. At the moment, it's looking a bit bare, but I'm about to go shopping. Oh, don't you just love going shopping? Now, the internet is a fantastic resource. I mean, the world is literally at your fingertips. But there's nothing quite like going to a shop, having to mooch around all their bits and bobs, and seeing if you can grab a bargain. And I did exactly that today. I went to Camping International. Uh, that's in Raynham. If you're if you're in the Kent area, you'll probably you probably would have heard of it. So in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I need a fridge, all right? So I'm going to go to Camping International, see if they've got a sale on, because it is winter now. Well, autumn, beginning of winter. So I thought, not many people are going to be looking for fridges, right? So with a little bit of luck, I might be able to pick up a bargain. But no, I was wrong. All the fridges are still at full price. So we'll leave them there for now. Um, they're about to come down. But I did spot up on a shelf in a little corner a fan for me ceiling. Now the fan I want, the cheapest I can find online is I think it's about £230 because it's got speed control, temperature sensing, all that good stuff. Well, look at this. Look what I bagged. Now the box is a little bit tatty. Um, the original price was, I mean it was cheap anyway, £199. That was the original price. But because the box is a bit tatty and it's been up on the shelf for God knows how long, they had it reduced to, I think it was 140 right? So I'm like, oh, there's a bargain if ever I saw one. Now, if you're a little bit gobby like I am, and a little bit cheeky, as you've probably gathered that by now, so I've asked to speak to the manager, and I said, what's the best you can do on this? And he said, leave it out, mate, it's already. And I went, yeah, but the screws are missing, and look at the state of the box. So he said, I'll give you 10% off. I went, I have it. <laughs> so let's have a look. I'll show you what's in the box. Um, for a bit of luck, I'll be able to get screws from uh, FEMA. I, I can't pronounce it, I think it's French. But this is basically the European version of a fantastic fan, I think. It um, says on the box, Turbo Vent Premium. And look at the controls. All in controls, all touch buttons. So yeah, I'm quite excited. Can't wait to have a look. The only downside is the screws are missing, so I'm going to have to try and find some uh, stainless steel screws, I'd imagine. It's not light. Oh, it's a solid white roof rather than a crystal roof. But that's okay because it stops light bleeding out because we're stealthy camping, remember? What's in the box? I got so excited about this. It's my last fan, it had just two fans, it was either on or off, or suck or blow, and there was no in between. Oh, they were really noisy. But this little thing, oh, not much of a circuit board going on there, it looks pretty simple. This bit's light. Yeah, look at that, touch controls. I think you see that. Pretty much on off speed and temperature. Happy days. And the fan itself, multi bladed. Oh, that's going to keep me nice and chilled in the summer. I just know. Look at that. I quite know how it opens up. Oh, there we go. There's a little. Yeah, there's a, there's a handle thing here you have to put, I think you need, I need to put this back on because the handle's there, but it's manual, unlike its American counterpart, they've got electric motor that opens them up, still, this was a fraction of the cost, so I don't mind, I really don't mind having to do it by hand. Let's see, shall we? 
see how much effort's involved. Oh, wrong way, I think. Yep, there we go. Look at that. No effort whatsoever. And he's electric one, and he's got fly screen inside there, bollocks of it. Lovely jubbly. So there you go. It was worth going to the shops after all. Because I'll know one thing for sure, I wouldn't have got this for 120 quid off the internet. There's no way. Can't wait to fit it now. I'm not going to bother putting it back in the bag. Let's go straight on the roof. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Looks a bit cloudy. Yeah, I'll leave that till last. But at least now I've got something I can work with. I know, I know what I've got to do. I know how big the hole's got to be. I can roughly work out where it's all going to go. And I'm caught in a phrase. Super excited. Anyway. Oh yeah, I've got something else as well. That's a bit heavy though. I've got a leisure battery from Campney International as well. Give me a good price on that as well. That was um, £99, reduced down to, I think it was 80 something. So I've got like 16 quid off, something like that. So, yeah. so I saved 100 quid on that and 16 quid on my leisure battery. Happy days. I'm an happy chappy, as they say. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on. So after much ado and much fiddling around, I've made my frame for my fan. If I hold it up like that, you can see how it's gonna go. There you go. So now, that is gonna go up onto the ceiling or the roof. Still can't decide whether it's a roof or a ceiling. I guess on the inside it's a ceiling, on the outside it's a roof. I don't know, it's a bit of a tomato tomato situation going on there. But anyway, you get the picture. That is now going to go onto the ceiling. I'm going to stick it up there. And then once it's set, I can then start doing my lagging and my insulation. Um, and then once, the once I've insulated it, bagged it, I can start putting my cladding up on the ceiling. And I'll use this frame as a guide for where my cladding goes, because I know now where my fan is going to go. See that goes on there like that. There you go. Yeah, that quite work, does it? Oh, I think I've done something wrong there. Back to the drawing board. So I've gone back to my original plan, just a small frame. I'm going to stick that to the roof or ceiling, um, and then that will give me a guide as where to put my insulation. I mean, once I've got my insulation up, my vapor barrier. I can then put my cladding on the roof and use that, like I say, as a guide. And I think my cladding, because of the thickness of the cladding, that will make up the extra depth. So I don't really need that extra frame anyway. Hopefully. If not, I'll just have to pack it out with some more timber of some sort. But yeah, I'll work it out as I go. Like I do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to get sticking. So after a couple of minutes of scratching my head, thinking, how am I going to get that frame? to stick to the ceiling, the square frame for the fan. I can't really, I couldn't think how I'm going to do it, so I thought, well, I'll leave that. Sometimes it's best to just walk away from a problem and then do something else. And then whilst you're doing that something else, your brain ticks over, or well, mine does anyway, especially when I've had a bit of coffee. My brain ticks over and then I come up with a solution whilst I'm doing another solution. Or coming up with a solution to another problem. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Probably not. So what I'm saying is, if you come up against a problem, just leave it, get on with something else, and then that prior problem, you normally come up with a solution. Okay, so what I've done is finish off the framework from a panel, from the electrical control panel. So all my electrics are going to go here. My solar controller, my switches, and a 12 volt socket, USB socket, voltage meter is all going to go against the panel that's going to come up here. Fuses will be down here, split charge relay and possibly the leisure battery there as well. So that's that's what I was doing and whilst I was doing that, sure enough, I come up with a solution for the prior problem of my frame and sticking it to the ceiling. <laughs> so 
that's my next job. Oh, mate, is that a back-breaking thing to do, trying to put that up there? Uh, still, it's all done now. My back is killing me. Oh, jeez, starting to feel me age. <laughs> oh, oh, dear, never mind. There you go, so that's up there now. I'm just going to leave that to let the adhesive set overnight. I'm going to, yeah, have a bit of a tidy up and call it a day. Um, otherwise, I'll run the risk of banging my head on that and knocking it out of place. And trust me, it took me a long time to get that dead centre. So I don't want to move it. I don't want to risk that. So that's it. I'm done for the day. My back's killing me. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's time to say adios, amigos. Um... All in all, I've had a good day. I had a lovely day up at Camping International. Had a nice mooch around, all their bits and bobs. Got myself a bargain. Also had a look at some of their um, their cookers and their grills and their stoves. I've got some nice stoves up there. So now I'm thinking, hmm. Because that sink I bought with a single gas burner. Um, a couple of my subscribers, thank you very much, have given me the tip or given me the nod. That it's no good it's no good for dvla dvla won't accept it as a camper van if it's only got one gas ring why is that i mean if it's got a bed and a table and a sink and a gas ring it's a camper van surely i mean it's just bureaucracy gone crazy but who am i to argue with those that have got the more power and far more intelligent than myself apparently you need two gas gas rings if you want to call your van a camper so I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that sink now. It was a bloody lot of money. Excuse me, French. Uh, yeah, I might even write my stern letter and say, why didn't you warn me? <laughs> why did you make? Why did I even make them if they're no good? I don't know. But anyway, that's my little whinge for the day. Got to stay positive. Like I say, I did see some nice stuff up there. It's given me a few ideas. I'm going to sleep on it. I'm going to have a tidy up now. And then call it quits for the day. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit notification if you want to see more of me converting this van into a stealthy, go anywhere, off grid camper van. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, total half an hour. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend.